In this video I'll show you how to connect your Epson ET4800 printer to your Mac computer and I'll also show you how to print using your Mac and how to get the scan results directly on your computer. So let's get started. The first step is to go on this control panel over here and we need to connect this printer to your Wi-Fi network. Once you're over here in the menu you're going to use these arrows to navigate. You're going to select Wi-Fi setup, press OK. Press OK once more, once Wi-Fi recommended is on the screen. Press OK. Select Wi-Fi setup wizard, press OK. And now it will search for all the Wi-Fi networks that are around the printer. You should see yours appearing in just a few seconds in the list that will pre be presented to you. Go down and select your Wi-Fi network. This is mine. I'll press OK once I'm over it. And now it's time to type the password so the printer can connect. If you have capital letters, you need to go down below and select this option. Press OK. If you want to input numbers, uh, click again on this icon. It will show you numbers and now you'll be able to type the numbers using this number pad. Once you finish typing your password, go down and select OK and OK on the touch panel. You're going to get this message, setup complete, press OK. If not, the screen will disappear by itself. Once your printer is connected to your Wi-Fi on your Mac, you're going to go on the top left corner, click on the Apple logo and then select sec system settings. From this bar on the left side, go all the way down until you see printers and scanners. Here you're going to see all the printers that are currently connected to your Mac or you have previously connected and we need to add this um, Epson printer. So go down and click on add printer, scanner or fax. You may have to enter over here the password and your username of this Mac computer. Now this window appeared and all you have to do is in this list select Epson ET4800 series. Select it and then press the add button. Here it will ask you if you want to add the fax. If you don't intend to use it, simply select not now. And the printer will be added to the list. If you want, for example, to print any document, open it. Let's say I want to print this picture over here. I'll simply go on files on the top, select print and now under printer you should select your Epson ET4800 series, change these settings down below to whatever you want and at the end press the print button. The print should come out in a few seconds. So here is the result. You may notice there is some lines appearing that are not on the original picture. One thing that you can change, let me show you, don't panic. Go back into the print window here and go down where you see media quality, click here and instead of normal, select best and on media type, Make sure you select the right one. So over here I'm trying to um, print on plain paper. So I'll select plain paper and I'll press print again. Now take a look. Oops, there's no paper. <laughs> here we go. And this time we don't have any lines, you see. I went from this to this and the only thing I change is what I just showed you. Now let me show you how to use the scanners and get the results on your Mac. So this printer has two types of scanner, one automatic document feeder on the top and one typical scanner glass. If you're going to use the scanner glass, place your document facing down with the top of the document towards the right side. Then you're going to notice over here there is an arrow. Make sure that the corner of the paper touches this corner with an arrow, so just glide them until both are touching, nothing complicated. Close the scan lid and you'll be able to scan. If you intend to use the automatic document feeder, 
you're going to take your stack of paper, you can have even 15 pages, align them, this time place them facing up like that with the top part, let's say this is the top part of my document towards the left and glide them until you hear a beep. The printer will take them one by one and scan them, but for this moment I'll just use the normal scanner to demonstrate. So once you've done this, let's go on the Mac. You need to go back in the printer's settings, where we were previously. And you're gonna find your printer in the list. This is mine. Click on it, Epson ET4800. Then select Open Scanner. Select on the left side, Epson ET4800. And then click on Show Details. It will give you a preview over here, the scanner will warm up. This preview is not saved on your Mac. You st we still need to do certain things. So on the right side here, select scan mode where you have put your document. So is it on the flatbed or on the top on the document feeder? I chose flatbed, so I'll keep it this. Kind, um, you need to select if you want in black and white or in color. Resolution is quite important. So if you're scanning some text, select 200 dpi. This is enough resolution for any text document with some small graphics. If you intend to scan a, let's say, a picture or maybe a painting, something with fine um, details, in this case, select the highest number um, because it will give you the best result. Unfortunately, if you select a higher number than 200, it will take more time to scan and the file will be huge on your computer. So this is just something you need to keep in mind. For 99% of the stuff you're gonna scan, 200 is enough. Okay, over here, use custom size. You can uncheck this and under size, select the size of the paper. Mine is US letter size, so I'll leave it like this. Don't touch orientation since we have input the paper the right way. Over here, select in which folder you would like this scan to go on your computer. So desktop, documents, or any other folders by clicking others. Name, you can give this scan any name you prefer. And format, this is another important thing. If you're gonna scan a picture, select JPEG like it is right now. But if you have a document uh, with text and let's say you have multiple pages that you'd like to combine in one single PDF document, in that case, select PDF and check combine into single document. So you can have five pages in one PDF document by doing this. But in this case, I'll simply select JPEG. Image correction, don't touch this, we don't need it. At the end, press scan. And uh, for 200 dpi, it should take like 13 seconds. If you have selected 1200 dpi, well, then it can take many minutes. So you better be patient. All right. The document has been scanned. And since I have selected uh, the scan to go into the pictures, if I go on my finder, and this is about it, document went in the folder you have selected here, which is pictures. So this is about it. This is how you set up, scan, print using your Mac computer and your Epson ET4800. If this tutorial was helpful and you want to support my channel, check my Amazon links in the description down below. Every time you use one of my links, I get a very small commission from Amazon and it helps my channel.